In this part, we will discuss non-normal autopilot operation, altitude alert, and wind shear. First, let's discuss non-normal operation. The ICAS warning message, autopilot disconnect, is displayed when the selected autopilots have disengaged. Disengagement occurs automatically if an autopilot fails, when either control wheel disengage switch is pushed, or when the autopilot disengage bar is pushed down. Pushing either disengage switch or engaging an autopilot resets all autopilot disengage oral and visual warnings. The oral warning will still sound for one second. The ICAST caution message autopilot indicates the autopilot is still engaged and flying the airplane but with degraded accuracy due to an autopilot or mode failure. AFDS mode failures are displayed on the flight mode enunciation with amber lines through the failed modes. The corrective action is to engage a different mode or engage a different autopilot. Question. Answer B is correct. Pushing either disengage switch or engaging an autopilot cancels and resets all autopilot disengage oral and visual warnings. Below 1,500 feet radio altitude, LAN 3 is displayed if all three autopilots are functioning normally. The ICAST caution message, No Land 3, indicates that one of the three autopilot systems has failed. Land 2 is displayed on the PFD. Above 1,500 feet radio altitude, the ICAST advisory message, No Land 3, indicates that one of the autopilot systems has failed. The ICAST caution message, No Autoland, indicates two or three autopilot systems have failed and an automatic landing is not possible. No Autoland is also displayed on the PFD. Above 1,500 feet radio altitude, the ICAST advisory message, No Autoland, indicates that two or three autopilot systems have failed. In a LAN-3 condition, below 200 feet radio altitude, the loss of one autopilot will not change the LAN-3 display. Now let's discuss the altitude alert system. The altitude alert system references the altitude set in the mode control panel altitude window and provides alerting when approaching or deviating from a selected altitude. The selected altitude appears as a magenta display on the PFDs. Approaching 900 feet from your selected altitude, white boxes appear around the selected altitude and current altitude displays. Approaching 300 feet from your selected altitude, the white boxes disappear. Altitude alerting is activated when the airplane deviates 300 feet from the selected altitude. The ICAST caution message, Altitude Alert, indicates a deviation from the selected altitude. The current altitude box also changes to amber. Altitude deviation alerting stops if the airplane is returned to within 300 feet of the selected altitude. 
Deviation alerting also stops when the airplane is flown more than 900 feet away from the selected altitude. At this time, the altitude alert system resets. Deviation alerting indications can be canceled and reset by selecting a new altitude. Altitude deviation alerting is inhibited in flight with glide slope capture or with landing flaps selected and landing gear down. Question. Answer C is correct. Finally, let's discuss the auto flight wind shear system. The wind shear system consists of detection, alert, and guidance. Let's discuss each element in more detail. A wind shear condition is detected by comparing total aircraft energy with horizontal and vertical wind energy. Wind and inertial information from the IRSs and pitot-static information from the air data computers are used by the ground proximity warning system computer to determine a wind shear condition. The oral wind shear, wind shear, wind shear indicates wind shear conditions that approach the limiting performance capabilities. Wind shear is also displayed on the PFD. These warnings will be discussed in more detail in the ground proximity warning system module. Wind shear warning system arms on airplane rotation and remains armed below 1,500 feet radio altitude. Now let's look at the guidance information provided by the auto flight system. When encountering a wind shear during takeoff or approach severe enough to activate the wind shear warning, pushing a toga switch engages the auto throttle and AFDS in the appropriate modes for wind shear recovery. Pushing the toga switch engages the AFDS toga pitch and roll modes. If an autopilot is engaged, it will fly the commanded pitch attitude. The pitch limit indicator indicates the stick shaker attitude and is automatically displayed when flaps are out of up. The pitch limit indicator is covered in the flight instruments module. Pushing the toga switch prior to 50 knots indicated airspeed during takeoff engages the auto throttle in thrust reference mode. If a D-rate has not been selected in the FMS CDU, the reference becomes full takeoff thrust. Auto throttle operation is discussed in the auto throttle module. If go around is armed, the first push of the toga switch activates the auto throttle in the thrust mode. The Autopilot Flight Director System controls pitch to hold current airspeed or selected airspeed and attempts to establish a 2,000 feet per minute rate of climb. A second push of the toga switch will activate the auto throttle in the thrust reference mode. As the wind shear dissipates, the Autopilot Flight Director System smoothly transitions back to normal takeoff or go around function of the toga mode. Thrust reference remains displayed until another mode is selected. If the toga switch is pushed with the flight directors off, airspeed greater than 80 knots and flaps out of up, the command bars will automatically be displayed and provide the appropriate commands. The PFDs will enunciate toga whether in the takeoff or approach phase of flight. To reset the flight director, either cycle the flight director switches or select another autopilot mode. Let's review some important points. 
The wind shear warnings only occur for wind shear conditions that approach the limiting performance capabilities of the airplane. They will not activate for wind shears of the type which require routine piloting effort. Pushing a toga switch in flight with go-around armed activates autopilot flight director toga guidance. If an autopilot is engaged, it will fly the commanded attitude. If the toga switch is pushed with the flight directors off, airspeed greater than 80 knots and flaps out of up, the command bars will automatically appear and provide the appropriate guidance commands.